Hey and welcome to Kiwi Tech. Today we're looking at how to copy songs onto our Moto 360. So let's have a look. Right, so the new software just rolled out, which is 4.4w.2. Uh, now what this enables us to do is to copy songs onto our Moto 360. Now it's it's not actually that easy. Well, no, it's easy. Sorry, it's it's uh, it's just a little bit more complex than it could be, considering it's an Android device. So unfortunately, you can't just select songs and transfer them by Bluetooth over to your Moto 360. You've got to use Google's music application called Play Music, which is the Play Music app, uh, and you can only download songs that you've purchased off the Play Store. Yeah, so Google seemed to have taken a little belief out of Apple in that respect. Anyway, so once you open the application, scroll down until you get to Settings. Right down the bottom, you can see Settings, so click on that, and then we scroll right down the bottom again, and we get to a part that says Download to Android Wear. You can see that, so tick that box, and that's it. That's all you need to do. On my device, I can't actually tell what songs to download. It just downloads all songs I've purchased from the Play Store. On some Android Play applications, you can select which ones you want to download. And what you need to do is if you find the album or the song you want, click on those little options there, those little three dots. And about halfway down, it will say Download to Device. Uh, mine doesn't do that, so I'm not sure why that doesn't do that. Um, but as you can see, these two albums I downloaded last night, it's not that I actually want them, but I just wanted to test to see if it works. Uh, I can, it, it downloads it automatically. Now, this is going to transfer via Bluetooth. It's going to take a long time. So uh, what I did, I, I found that once I downloaded the songs onto my phone and then selected on the Play Store the setting to download to device, download to my, my Moto 360, that it started to download to my Moto360 by itself. Um, I didn't actually see it happening, it didn't give me a progress bar, it just started doing it in behind the scenes. Now my watch got to about 20%, down, uh, the battery was going down really, really quick. Um, so I put it on charge and then it started to say, um, see ya, chandelier completed. So it was already downloading in the background. So what I'll show you now is that uh, my phone is no longer connected to my Android device. And I'll show you the the play settings. Uh, nope, sorry, I need to go right down to start. So now I can select play music, and it will be playing off my device. So you can see I've got my one song, and I've got my album. So I can even go through my album. Uh, obviously, it's not going to play it now because I've got my Bluetooth headset connected. So make sure your Moto 360 is on charge on the dock because it will drain the battery really quickly and it will take a long time to download those songs. So don't expect it to happen within half an hour. Uh, mine took probably about three or four hours to download. So I hope that's helped you. Uh, unfortunately, you can't sideload songs that you've downloaded via other sources. It has to be off the Play Store. So this has been Kiwi Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>